Hey guys, it's Matt Higgins. So in today's video, I want to talk about all of the vehicles that the Grand Army of the Republic used throughout the Clone Wars, as well as break down the classes and each type of vehicle briefly. These vehicles include things such as walkers, speeder bikes, artillery, etc. So without further delay, let's get started. To start off this list, we're going to start with something familiar the All-Terrain Tactical Enforcer, or ATTE. The ATTE served as the Republic's primary multi-purpose ground walker. The walker was designed for multiple purposes, including fighting, carrying troops, supplies, really anything. It was the workhorse of the Republic military. The ATTE was capable of carrying two All-Terrain Recon Transports, or ATRTs, which we'll talk about in a minute, and for its armament, had six laser cannon turrets and one mass driver cannon. In terms of its cargo capacity, the ATTE could carry 20 passengers. The ATTEs saw action throughout the Clone Wars and even beyond, as some rebels utilized the vehicle in their fight against the Empire. The next walker is the All Terrain Open Transport, or ATOT. This was an eight legged walker that focused primarily on troop and cargo transport. The most prominent feature of this walker was its open top. By having an open top, it allowed the clone troopers that it was carrying to engage in battles whenever the ATOT was in combat. The ATOT was less armed than the ATTE with only four laser cannons, two on the front and two in the rear. Both the ATTE and ATOT were delivered by the Low Altitude Assault Transport Carrier Variant, or the LAATC. Next, we have the ATAP Walker. This was a three legged walker that focused primarily on long range artillery attacks. These walkers were introduced in the latter half of the war and saw action in some of the most famous battles on Kashyyyk and Felucia as examples. Just like ATTEs, ATAPs also fell into the hands of the Rebel Alliance. The All Terrain Recon Transport, or the Scout Walker, was the lightest walker in the series. These walkers had a max speed of 75 km per hour, a chin mounted laser cannon and mortar launcher, and had a cargo capacity of 100 kilograms. The ATRT served well into the years of the Galactic Empire and even saw some use by the Rebel Alliance. One of the more unique vehicles in the Clone Regiment was the HAVW A6 Juggernaut, or Clone Turbo Tank. This vehicle was not really a walker, but more like a wheeled assault vehicle. Contrary to popular belief, these vehicles were actually meant to serve as transport vehicles for transporting ground units. The clone turbo tanks could reach speeds up to 160 kilometers per hour, making them the ideal vehicle for ground transport. Unlike the other walkers we just talked about, the Juggernaut continued service into the days of the Galactic Empire. In fact, a more advanced version, the HCVW A9 turbo tank, was seen in the movie Rogue One. Next, we have the RX-200 Falchion class assault tank. These were defensively oriented tanks, as their primary weapon was an ion cannon meant to disable enemy ground units. One of the most notable appearances of these tanks was in the Zillow Beast arc of the Clone Wars. These tanks were used to capture the Zillow Beast. Next, we're going to look at the artillery class. To be brief, the artillery class of vehicles were meant for longer to medium range bombardments rather than open combat. The first vehicle on this list is the UTAT. This vehicle was designed similarly to the ATTE, but is a repulsor craft instead of a walker. Not much is known about the UTAT, except we know that the Galactic Marines used it heavily in the assault on Maikido, where Order 66 was enacted and the fall of Kiati Mundi took place. This vehicle hasn't appeared in any other Star Wars canon media except for Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith. Next, we have the AV-7 Anti-Vehicle Artillery Cannon, or the AV-7. 
These artillery cannons were also modified in order to fit on Venator-class Star Destroyers by removing their legs. The last vehicle in this class is the self-propelled Heavy Artillery Turbo Laser, or SPHAT. These were the largest ground units used by the Republic military. In fact, these vehicles served the Galactic Empire long after the Clone Wars ended. This massive vehicle had 12 legs and a massive laser cannon. In fact, these vehicles are so powerful that only a few of them are necessary to take down a droid control ship. There were not a lot of these vehicles in service, as it took 30 clone troopers with special training to operate them. The last class of vehicles that we're going to talk about today are speeders. The Bark Speeder, or Biker Advanced Recon Commando Speeder, was one of the most widely used speeders by the Galactic Republic. These speeders were used primarily for scouting and were adaptable to multiple environments. Similar to motorcycles, these speeders could have a sidecar attached to carry an additional person. The Infantry Support Platform, or ISP, was a larger speeder that utilized repulsor craft technology. We don't know too much about this speeder in canon, except that it had a crew of two and a maximum speed of 100 km per hour, as well as it was used in the Battle of Kashyyyk and Felucia. The last vehicle on this list is the CK-6 Swoop Bikes, or Frico Bikes. These speeders were a little heavier built than the other speeders because they had an insulated cockpit. Therefore, these speeders were used primarily in harsh environments. So that's going to do it here for this video, guys. Next week, I'll probably be out with another video on the Galactic Republic branches of government. So probably something on the Senate or the courts. Other than that, guys, have a great weekend. Enjoy Avengers Infinity War. I'm going to go see it here soon. And as always, may the Force be with you.